Hey everybody, welcome back to Autobox Place, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We haven't lost a run yet, and I don't necessarily want to just keep doing greed mode runs, so I think we should just do a cane hard mode run. And we'll just go from here. Um, in the last run, actually, we unlocked the paperclip for Kane, so what better opportunity to play him than now? Alright. <laughs> um, okay, so here's the seed. It's YSWE3N69. What a perfect, perfect start. Oh, okay, C controller glitch. Alright. Um, today is good. I should be able to record a, a bunch of videos today because I have the house all to myself. And I just got done doing a workout. And, um, what else? What else is good? Oh, I just finished a cup of coffee. So coffee has definitely hit the bloodstream, so we shouldn't be completely trash at playing this game. This game? Gam. Yeah, appa apparently coffee doesn't <laughs> let us talk normally. Oh, bad bit of damage. But not the end of the world. At least this isn't an XL floor. <laughs> okay, I'd check for a little bit. Um... But Kane, the paperclip is too good of an item to pass up. Pinky Eye has served us well in previous runs, and oh, that spear has an amazing pickup. We'll come back up for that. Um, I wanted to pick up that spear hearts probably near the end of the floor, just so that we have a better chance of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. Okay, don't take any dumb damage like that. Um, if we're lucky, maybe we can get a heart to drop from either a fire or a poop. I mean, a coin is always nice. Okay, let's just do our due diligence and shoot these fires, and let's move on. Pinky Eye, I love you, but not right now. Okay. This run is a little dicey at the moment, just because of the fact of my really bad dodging. But we're... Not completely screwed, if that makes sense. See, there we go. We have a we just got a got a red heart from the fire, and our HP is looking fine for right now. These little anus diglets will pose no problem. And even though we didn't fight find the item room, I think we should just fight our boss. And we're fighting Larry Jr. Larry Jr. is actually one of the one an easy boss. The only thing that I actually have a problem with is it's a little unpredictable as to how he moves around the room. Um, I'm not able to parse it. There might be a rhyme or reason to it, but it's beyond me at this point. Just as long as you have some decent speed and stay a decent amount away from him, you shouldn't take any damage against him. And there we go. HP upgrade, and I'm, as far as I know, you don't you aren't able to get any items or consumables to drop from the poop. We'll just take the HP. Um, more fuel for our future future deal with the devil prospects. And let's check up here, and hopefully we can find our item room. And there it is. Um, now hopefully the item room has something decent. I do see the tinted rock there, so. We will use that, and we do have three keys, so I don't feel bad about using a consumable to open it up, and potentially it could be good. See, we got back some pretty good items, or consumables. Uh, my best friend. I don't think it's good enough. Uh, Mr. Boom. I'll come back to it. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, we don't have a spacebar item, and Mr. Boom would allow us to... Um, find the secret room on this floor, and I have a, I have a decent idea <laughs> as to where it is. Let's shoot all the poops down. Oh, yes, petrify poop. We'll hold it for just this room and clear out all the poops. Uh, but I still want to keep paperclip because not being able to burn a key for it for um, golden chests is very very helpful. Okay, we got some money from the poops, which is good. So. That actually wants, leads me to go into the shop, because we already have five keys um, right now. So if I were a guessing man, I would say that the secret room is right here. And there it is. 
Okay, that's a good amount of money. That is a very good amount of money. 16 cents. Let's... In that case, let's go... That was a really loud crow. That was outside. Sorry about that. Um, I have my window open here because my room is a little hot. Um, but yeah, let's totally go to the shop. 16 cents might will definitely allow us to get something good. The boomerang, not so much, but I am interested in the spirit heart. And let's go back down. I almost forgot about the spirit heart. Thank you, other spirit heart, for reminding me about the first. Yeah, let's just go down to the next floor. 12 cents is well above the cap to potentially spawn an arcade on this floor. So, it's looking good. It's a, it's looking pretty good. And, oh, that was actually really cool that the fly suicided into the other fire. Um, sack faces are pretty easy to kill. Um, it's, I don't know if I'm wrong in thinking this, but the circumference, or like the size of Kane's tears, looks pretty big in comparison to just standard Isaac. And speaking of which, there is our arcade. Um, that's f the arcade, as I think, if you play the Blood Bank, um, it doesn't affect your deal with the Devil odds. So let's hit that up. But anyway, back onto the damage. His tears look a lot larger. Then, oh, excuse me. Then Isaac's. Oh, this is interesting. Let's play the demon. No. Okay. You know what? We'll come back to this. I actually don't remember if the deal with. If, um. Taking hits from a demon beggar would make it so that we. Um, aren't it. Well, we're not like it affects our deal with the double odds, is what I'm trying to say. So let's avoid that for now. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of seams on this run that would make it so that it would be really, really hard for us to not to like to not win. And the spirit hearts are coming fast and furious, which is really, really good. Okay. And I know I probably I know I always jinx this on previous runs, but we haven't taken any damage yet. Okay, little silkworms, hopefully we get something good. Um, there are a lot of... Um, what's its? Blood banks on this floor, it's kind of surprising. Um, nah. I, well, I, was th I was thinking about blowing him up, but... I don't think he'll drop anything because he doesn't have coins in his eyes. Or he might be a special shopkeeper, I have no idea. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, these circle flies should go down pretty quickly. And we got another bomb. The consumable gain on this run is so good! Um, RNG is definitely smiling on me, which it hasn't been doing too much on the previous runs. Okay. So we found our boss room, we've yet to find our item room, and because the second floor deal with the devil is so important, I think we should just backtrack a little bit, even though I don't like doing that, and try to find our item room. And there it is. Okay, let's not take any hits. Good. Lovely. Um, stem cells. It's okay, we, we have a lot of HP, so I don't feel too bad about picking this up. I just really hope that we have something to use for a deal with the devil. Let me check for a secret room here. If not here, then I want to think it's here. Not there? Oh, gosh. I want to think it's right under the sh under the arcade, but... I don't know. Um, okay. You know what? Screw it. I want to play that demon beggar. Um, just because. I want to I want to test if it, he actually affects our deal with the devil odds. He might, he might not. We'll find out. Oh, growth hormones. So good. And we'll just blow these two guys up. There's really no point in keeping them around. Let's pick up this heart, and let's just play a blood bank. 
Ivy bag. Interesting. We are getting a lot of money out of this run. Um, let's do our due diligence. Go back down. Pick up some. Pick up the extra red hearts, and let's go back and play it again. I'm not sure if subsequent plays make it give you a better chance of getting something. Double IV bag. What? Okay, that's strange, but all right. Did I pick up IV bag? I don't know. Oh goodness. Eh, whatever. That's fine. I mean, it's a little unfortunate that we didn't get like blood bag. We only got the IV bag, but what? I know for sure I picked it up. Okay, okay game. You're funny. Uh, let's just pick this up and it's a discounted bomb, so why not? But that is just the strangest thing. Okay, now let's fight our boss. And who the haunts? Um, I will use Mr. Boom to take out, to just drop him and... Hopefully it does a good amount of damage. First damage in the entire run, and I don't feel too bad about it, because these little haunt asshole bros are really, really stupid, and I don't like them. Okay. Dodge, 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 dodge. Ooh, haha, <laughs> not even close. Okay, some HP and an extra trinket. Um, brown cap, it's whatever. Little Brim. Little Brim is an excellent deal with the devil item and it gave us devil preston let's go down to the next floor 10 minutes just to beat um the basements so our boss rush prospects don't look very good but you know what boss rush doesn't need to be done on every run every run has boss rush boss rush potential but just because you can doesn't mean you should is um is probably a good 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 thing to live by is what I'm trying to say. Alrighty. What? Oh! That's what Brown Cap does! Fuck this trinket! Fuck that! Okay. That was really, really dumb of me. Okay, well now. The more you know, I suppose. Oh, okay, don't take dumb damage. Don't take dumb damage. Okay, cool. Break the poop. 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 Okay. Made it out, but yeah, that was a little dicey. We had so many spirit hearts, and now we only have half. Uh, where did it all go? I mean, I know I lost like, some of them to really dumb damage, but you gotta cut me some slack on that one. That wasn't entirely my fault. Okay, even though that bit of damage was bad, and I'm not going to try to blow smoke up your ass and say it wasn't. We're not completely screwed out of this run. This run is still excellent. It's just... Um, I'm not trying to sandbag or anything like that. But, no, this is a really good run. It's still a good run. By every stretch of the imagination. And... Yes. We just got to not take so much dumb damage, and then we should be golden, because because no, because these are the only, like these are early runs within the Isaac series. We don't have to go very far. I mean, we're not going to go to the cathedral. We're not going down to Shoal, the dark room, the chests, anything like that. We only have to go to the womb, too. So it should be very easy for us to to win these runs because we're not going super, super hard. Humbling Bundle is an excellent pickup. Um, I think it doubles the drops, or any consumable. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's about knowing when not to shoot. These Isaac runs, life lessons all the time. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> okay the panic um, run into. Oh, hey. Hopefully this contains a black heart? Okay, dumb damage. And I think that might have lost, cost us our deal with the devil. So that was bad. 
Um, but I'm not going to become despondent. We shouldn't lose any egg, like... As long as we can get good consumable drops, we, sh we won't lose this run. We really won't. Oh, gosh. And let's just blow that up. Matchstick is a fine trinket. We'll pick it up because we have Mom's Purse. But yeah, this um, got a little dicey pretty quickly. Luck up! Luck up's fine. Did we get to the item room on this floor? I don't think so. At least I don't remember. We're gonna go search for it. Um, I don't recall if we went down this way. Maybe? Oh, there it is. Okay, hopefully we get something good here. Consumable drops, yay, spirit heart, so good. Um, crystal ball, that is a good, 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 um, space bar item because it gives us tarot cards and also spirit heart, and it gives us the ability to, to um, to map, uh, like the full map of the, of the, of the floor, I mean, not secret rooms, but, I mean, it's still good, it's still really good. Um, Gertie, we fought him before. He will go down pretty quickly, especially with Little Brim. It's easy to telegraph when he's actually going to fire. Um, as soon as he pokes his head in, then just cir just circle strafe, pretty much. Circle strafe and keep firing. Yeah, that was my mantra for my Gungeon run that may or may not have gone up onto the channel. We'll see. Yep. Like I was saying before, the deal with the devil was probably not going to be done because we took dam we took red hard damage on top of um, getting a de deal with the devil on a previous floor, so our odds of getting it at that time were probably pretty low. Um, let's just donate because it's a perfect opportunity to donate. Um, I'm not sure if I'll actually play this particular um, blood bank. Okay, cool. Let's just blow this thing up. But I might do it. It depends on what we get in our shop. A little bit of flies, we're good. And... Oh, bad bit of damage. Brain, chill. You have little brim. All you gotta do is just not is just stay at range and just shoot them down. That's all you gotta do. Um, let's blow up some of these mushrooms. We might get lucky and get a mushroom item. Um, well obviously magic mush would be an amazing pickup. And, okay, cool. We got mapping for the floor. So, let's chart our, our course. We definitely want to go... Let's just check out the item room, and obviously the shop, and then just go to the boss room. The layout of the floor is actually pretty convenient because it kind of... gave me the items that... Are, the places that I want to see and the priority that I want to see them. Um, God's Flesh, I mean, it's okay, it's not that bad. Um, any passive tier effect is, is, is neat, is just pretty much it, it's just, it's fine. It's the most okayest of all, um, tier effects, but like a, hmm, like a Mom's Contact or maybe like Common Cold would have much more appreciated because it's more Im immediate damage when you actually get it because the ability to sh just shrink um, an enemy isn't that amazing. I mean, I'm not completely blown away by it. If let's use a bomb to get up, get across, and see what we get. Maybe I was kind of hoping for a spirit heart, but say la vie. Maybe we should have kept Petra by poop just for this particular room, right? I mean, we haven't been running into that many golden chests, so it might have been a good idea to do so. 
But now, I am lazy, I don't really feel like backtracking, so we're not gonna put, go play that blood bank. Just not even worth my time. Cool. Pheromones. Eh. Olycephalus, I think? Yeah, he'll be cake. We have Little Brim, and I'm not too worried. Just dodge his fast-moving bullshit. And... Come on. Dead. Alright, Pageant Boy. We don't have the ability to reroll, so it doesn't matter. The Shovel. You know what? Uh, eh? No? I just, not even? I don't even recall. Okay, we got Little Brim, so we already have to deal with the double precedent. Yeah, shovel, not even worth my time. And I'm lazy, let's just go down to the next floor. Okay, we are on Dank Depths 1. Mm, it's a tougher version of the regular Depths, but we should be fine. Oh, wow. Okay, don't take too much more damage. Did it. The consumable drops are pretty good. I mean, it's coming, especially coming from the humbling bundle. No, oh, there's a tinted rock. Yeah, I'm trying to get better at um, our rock tinted vision. And yes, one right there. It would have been awesome for us to get a small rock, but I think we have to blow up a certain amount of rocks. We might have already done that, but I don't recall. Okay, Blighted Ovum, Double Trouble. Yeah, Blighted Ovum, he isn't very particularly tanky. So he should drop pretty quickly. And that was pretty easy. Um, the extra damage from Cat of Nine Tails is very, very welcome. Um, let's just go back and try to find the item room, and maybe the shop. It's unfortunate that our donation machine actually broke on the last floor, because I would have. We have a ton of money, and it would be awesome to do something with it. Okay. Well, we obviously have to go up. All take a look at the secret room. Hopefully there's something in there. Or like a secret room item. Maybe like Transcendence. Or like Black Lotus. That'd be cool. Now wouldn't that be? Okay. Yeah, we're getting... Oh, a Joker card. Ooh, interesting, interesting. I like the Joker card. Um, I'm not really sure if I want to pop it now. I might. I'm leaning towards... Yes, like, we'll pop it on this floor. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do it after the item, though. I mean, there's no particular rush in me popping this. I'll come back for that, because I want to go for the shop, so... Okay, let's see. Little Haunts. It's okay. I like it. He's probably one of the smarter familiars that I would get. And not even close. Screw off, troll bomb. Oh. I hope we don't get greed on this floor. Okay, tarot card, emperor. We'll take the emperor. Um, Bogo bombs, fine. Let's just pop this, see what we get. The fool. Pop this, friends till the end. It's fine. Let's go back out here, pop the Joker, um, yes, 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 yes. We will take the Mark, and we will also take Dead Cat. That's a really good pickup. Very, very, very good pickup. Um, more damage, and also the ability to have nine separate lives to come back with is super helpful. Nine of uh, Dead Cat can be good, but also can be very, very bad. Like, you could just go into a death spiral and just completely get trashed 
at every step of the way. We're going to save our crystal ball charge on the next floor so we know where we're actually going. Um, even though we're at 22 minutes, I think we're still making good time for this run. So let's see where we're going. Um, okay, we're going to go to the right and then we will... Eh, we'll probably... Oh gosh, Isaac stuttered a little bit. That was strange. I had no idea Isaac was such a hardware intensive run. Or intensive game. Let's just pop that again. The sun... Eh. 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 I'll take the Emperor. I mean, the sun is a good card, um, but I don't really feel like taking it just because of the fact that um, I don't have a ton of red hearts, so it wouldn't be healing for too much if we did use it. Oh, okay. And... Uh, Rose Repeat? Yeah, not really. Yeah, it wouldn't be healing for too, too much, so... And we already have Crystal Ball for our mapping, so it doesn't really make sense. Well, it it doesn't seem that high of a priority pickup. Having the ability to just access it with... Um, access the boss room. With um, Emperor card would speed up the run quite a bit. Okay, now Monstro's Tooth. Let's just, you know, fuck it. I don't really, again, laziness, High Priestess, no, Emperor, stay with it. Um, I'm probably just gonna pop this to get to Mom's Heart, is my thinking. Or, yeah. Wait, it is still Mom's Heart, because we have to um, do it a certain number of times before we get it lives. Ooh. Okay, sweet. Um, hive mine is fine. We'll buy the battery, the we'll poppets, get spirit hearts, and the strength card. Strength card's interesting, but we're gonna stay with the emperor card. Um, I like the strength card because it would allow us to get a deal with the devil. We probably wouldn't have any means of getting. Um, because since we're mocking mostly spirit hearts, I don't really think it's a good idea to burn three just to get a deal. I mean, it'd have to be a really amazing deal with the devil for me to want to do that, but um, there are hardly any items that, I, that immediately come to mind as to what I would be wanting to burn three spirit hearts for. Maybe like a pact? Because technically it would only be burning one spirit heart to do that? Okay, stop taking dumb damage. You're better than this. You don't need... Oh, gosh. Hey. No, 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 no. Calm down. You're fine. You know how to kill mom. And there you go. Alright, I'm so used to seeing the Polaroid pop up that it's a little strange to see, not to not see it. Mr. Mega. Okay. And we get Whore Babylon and the missing page too. I want to pick up Whore Babylon. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um. Yeah, we'll pick up Whore Babylon. We'll just and we'll leave the missing page too. Because even though it does give us an extra black heart, I don't think it's worth it for us to just stay at the extra black heart. Because I think if we die with and we come back with nine lives, we wouldn't have the Horde Babylon damage. Oh gosh! All right, uh, my tinted heart, or my tinted rock vision has to be on point, and I don't see anything. Yeah. Fuck that. We're not going to do that. We're going to clear out another room and then we're going to go back for this um, crystal ball. Because I am in desperate need of spirit hearts right now. Okay. Spirit heart? Yes. Let's go back and. Yeah, we're not going the right way. Let's go back, pick up that battery charge, and. Oh. Actually, pick it up. Yes, exactly what I wanted. Crystal Ball is a really good item. <laughs> uh, yep, there you go. 
Thank you, Little Brim. You've been actually carrying our run pretty, pretty hard. And I thank you. And Little Han, you know what? You're doing a good job, too. Don't let anyone try to say you're not. Okay, the chariots, the strength. Eh, Emperor's still the best in this, in this situation. I mean, you could argue that the strength card we could take with us and we could just backtrack for the Emperor. But, again, that just goes back down to the I'm lazy um, standpoint. Okay. No battery charge, but whatever. Oh, yay, there it is. Um, again, clear out the other room and then we'll come back for it. Okay. Managed to do it. I mean, it's a little unfortunate that we got hit on this run, on this room. Your fault? No. Ooh. <laughs> uh, spirit heart? Yes. Great. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken that sort of dumb damage. Daddy Long Legs. Oh, come on. Okay. Blood Clot, more damage, that's fine. Ooh! <laughs> scary, this is very, very scary. Nope, we're just gonna go down. We'll do it. We have to show this game that we are brave warriors and we will not take any of its shit today because, like, we ain't gonna go down like that. We ain't gonna be little bitches. And, sorry, demon beggar, I would have loved to play you, but yeah, you're gonna have to die. No battery charges, interesting. Anyway, we're going to pop the Emperor card, and it's time to fight Mom's Heart. Oh no! That was bad! Okay, can't take any damage. Alright, we have to juke as best we can. No! <laughs> oh, that was bad! No! Okay. Okay, we're missing the Horror Babylon act effect. So, oh, this is the, this is this might be the endless death spiral I was talking about, and that's not good. Okay. Oh, yes, little Bram. Ah, no, <laughs> shit. Okay. Uh, Tinted Rock, Tinted Rock, Tinted Rock, no! Crap! Okay. No oh, shit! Okay, we can't die. <laughs> this is bad, this is very bad. No! No! This is not how I go down! No! Oh god, no, this is bad. This is very bad. No! <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. Calm down. <sighs> okay. Calm, collected, and we can do this. You just got you gotta believe. You have to believe. <laughs> uh, if I lose this run, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. Because it shouldn't be this hard for me to dodge. I mean, we're doing good damage. Ah, 
Sorry. I would be I would be talking, but Oh, I don't wanna die. Oh yes, yes, we did it on our last life. <laughs> oh fuck you. We're not going in there because we could fight Trampus. Okay, we're going down. <laughs> uh And with that, we got Glass Baby, Rubber Cement, and thank you! That was a very dicey run, but I'm glad that we actually beat it. Um, if Okay, so if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for coming out, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.